Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to Guitar Reference Guide. This is going to be a really fun little exercise. I'm going to give you the artist. See if you can name the song these licks are from. Some of these licks, I had to alter them so they would fit into the chord progression, and some of the licks are also going to be in different keys from that of the original. So listen closely. Lick number one is from Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles. Lick goes like this. Now this is all based on coming over a G chord, we're playing over a G chord and, the, and it's a G major pentatonic scale. Here's your G major pentatonic scale. Really slow. lick number one. One more time. So how can you use that if you were going to play over a different tune? Well, say you were playing a tune in the key of A. If you were to move up, and you were to look at the key of A, and you were to say, okay, well, my, what's my major pentatonic scale? There's my major pentatonic scale in A. And there's the lick in the key of A. more time. That time it's resolving to F sharp. So that's lick number one. Lick number two is going to be from the Amon Brothers Band, uh, Midnight Rider, played by Dickie Betts. And lick number two goes like this. Now this is going over a D chord, this is D major pentatonic, and I'm bending up from the second to the third, and then that creates the triad. There's the triad right there, there's my D chord, second chord in the jam track. So how could you use that if you were going to play that over song, so see you were going to play that in the key of C. You would move it down a whole step, and that works over a C chord. That would be lick number two, really slow. Now, uh, the next lick uh, is something that I basically did to, to create a little bit more in the way of uh, a lick, because we had a little more time to fill up. So then I basically slide down. And there I'm playing. G major slash E minor pentatonic again. And that would be uh, lick number two. One more time, real slow. Slide to four, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, three, slight bend, and then open. And that would be lick number two. Lick number three, uh, let me see here. Uh, we're gonna bend, we're on the E minor chord now. So we're gonna bend from the D note to the E note, from here to here. This is from Time by Gil David Gilmore. Uh, the song is Time. And the second part of the lick goes like this. Lick number three. But instead of playing the G like that, what I do is I bend into it. And what we're doing here is we're playing over a C chord. There's my C chord. 
playing from the third, sliding up to the fifth, root, third, sliding up to the uh, to the A, back to the uh, here we go, back to the G, but I'm bending into the G. Lick number three, vibrato, and that's over, and that's going over a C chord. Now, if I was going to play that, say I was going to play that over a D chord, I would just start two frets high, uh, two frets higher. Uh, and I think that's the actual key of the song. And that would be lick number three. Now the next lick comes from uh, Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. And that's going to be like this. One more time, lick number four. So now that lick is normally played here. So what I did was I just, I brought it down a little bit lower. So it was closer to where I was doing my licks and I played it here and it works great. So slow, I'm playing uh, five, three, two, back to the G. G again, we're pedaling off of the A, F sharp, A. Sorry. And that will be, I believe, lick number four. Now lick number five, uh, is from Reeling in the Ears by Steely Dan, and that lick is going to go like this. Now, with that lick, we're using six. The great thing to practice playing over it, and this is outlining the G chord, and then it's just playing the harmonized major scale, and then targeting the D note, so it hits that D note by the time the D gets there. One more time. Lick number five. time. So here we have G. I'm sliding from 5 up to 7, then playing 7 on the high E string, sliding up to 11, playing 10th fret on the high E string. Then I do this little double stop turnaround to come back to D. It's kind of like Sam and Dave. And that would be, I believe, lick number five. So we'd have the Guns N' Roses, right into Reeling In The Ears. And on the recording, it goes all the way up to G, but here we just turn it around and we come back to the uh, D. I believe this is lick number six. This is gonna be from Kid Charlemagne. Uh, Steely Dan. I think this is Larry Carlton uh, playing this line. Uh, I'm going to play it lick number six, slow. One more time. And then on the actual recording, He follows up the lick with that lick, but we don't do that here. We're just playing. Now this is going to be over E minor chords. So whenever you see an E minor chord, that's a great lick. Here I'm playing um, my E minor third flat five sliding into the five, and I'm playing the flat seven. And that's at the seventh fret, hammering to ten to the to the uh, octave of E, then I'm playing the uh, the G note, then I'm hammering here from uh, 9 to 10 and that will be to the A note, to the C, to D, and pull off. So say you wanted to play that over a different chord, say you wanted to play that over in a C minor chord.
and that would work really good. That's lick number six. Now, from lick number seven is from Charlie Christian's Seven Come Eleven. This is the only jazz lick in here, uh, but it works, works great. Anything you can play or record that works, you know, try it in any context. Lick number seven sounds like this. One more time, real slow. This is over the C chord. Now, 12, 10, that's starting on the major third to the nine, flat seven. There I'm going to the five, major third. Now this is a chromatic line. And I'm swinging the whole line. And then I'm sliding over to the flat seven. Major third, fifth, 13, over to the flat seven, to the nine. Now say I wanted to play that over an A chord. You want to figure out where the lick starts. It starts on the major third of C, so if I went, if I went up to the major third, that would be E. If I st say I want to do the lick over an A, I would go to the major third of A, same lick. That's the lick over A, and that is lick number seven. Lick number eight, Win Cries Mary, Jimi Hendrix. Awesome double stops and more of a rhythmic lick. So now here we're going to play at the 15th fret, and I'm going to play those two notes and I'm going to hammer on to the 17th fret. This is over the G chord. And then uh, one more time, lick number 8. Lick number 9, uh, let me break that down a little better. So here we're playing, if you want to use that over say a D chord. Um, over a D. What we're doing here is we're playing off of the 13, then we're playing the 9 and the 5, hammering into the 3rd. And then we're targeting the root note, which is the, uh, the G. And that would be lick number 8. Okay, lick number nine um, is from the Black Crows Hard to Handle. It's a lick that was in the solo, but it's only a part of the lick, and, and I had to change the lick a little bit to make it work. So the actual lick sounds like this, and the actual key, it's in B. Now to make this work, I, instead of playing in B, I played it in D, because it's going over a D chord. And here I'm just playing a piece of the lick. Almost the same lick, but I changed it up just enough for it to work. So here I'm looking at my D major, I'm bending up from the 13, or the 6 to the flat 7, releasing, lick number 9, flat 5, slide over, minor 3rd, major 3rd, root note. So out of lick number 8. Now if I wanted to play that somewhere else, I wanted to play that over an A chord. Great lick. And that would be lick number nine. Would be the Black Crows. Now lick number ten, you all know this is from Stairway to Heaven, but Stairway to Heaven is in A minor. Here I'm playing in E minor. Lick number uh, ten is going to go like this. One more time. Whole step bend, minor pentatonic, and then I come down with the chord tones, and then do this little double stop, slide back and forth from C to D and back. Like number 10.
lick number 11. Okay, now say I wanted to play that in a different key. Say I wanted to play that Stairway to Heaven lick, and I was playing, uh, so that's over E minor. So I was playing comfortably numb, so I was playing a B minor. But the key here is I'm targeting, now I'm playing the lick over B minor, but I'm also targeting this note here, which is the G, which means it's going to go from this chord to this chord. So in the case of the Stairway to Heaven lick, I'm targeting the C note, um, and it's also starting uh, with the E minor. Uh, that is lick number 10, I believe, Nick, uh, lick number 11 is from Hotel California, the great Hotel California solo, and that's going to sound like this. Okay, so lick number 11 uh, is we're basically playing from a G to a D, and over his solo I think those are that those are actually the chords that he is playing, so I didn't need to uh, transpose this. So really slow, whole step in, release, first part of the lick. Now I'm going to bend from the 17th fret up a whole step. Then I'm going to do a chromatic line. And then now I'm going to bend this up a whole step. And this is where it gets tricky. After we bend up a whole step, when we're at the top of the bend, we're going to have to grab the B string. Sorry. So when I get to the top of the bend, I have to grab the B and bring it down. Sorry. Like that. So, lick number 11. More time. Slow. Last lick, lick number 12 is from John Mayer's uh, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. And that is gonna go like this, lick number 12. Uh, timing, uh, more like this. Or, uh, So now this is going over uh, this lick, here is going over the E minor, and then to C, and then we're resolving to G. So here we're playing, uh, in, in the key he's playing, he's playing in C sharp minor, so he plays it here. And that, so here it's in the key of E minor. So instead of playing it here, I moved it up to E minor. A little double stops here. It's my uh, minor third, major third, fifth, and then another fifth over C, sliding up to D, back to C, and then resolving to G. Then I come down here. Now this is not in his lick. And then I end it with this lick here which is a basic double stop, stop lick. I'm bending up a whole step and then playing uh, the G note. This is going from the, uh, the two to the three, major third, and to the one. And that's a great lick. You can use that anywhere. Say so you want to play D, say an A. It's a very country sound. Works great. And that would be the 12 licks of uh, the mashup. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, practice with it with the jam track, and we will see you later.